Previously, we we add the dummy table. So currently, we'll be adding the data. So the we we we'll change the data type. I mean, so currently we we change this one to string, and then we don't want it. We don't want to display any more docs, something like that. So you change the docs to monthly see see so monthly see and and also down here so we'll be but uh, but get is this it should be see in this should be month sorry for this better I believe this should be number so when you change that this two and then you refresh, make sure you save and you refresh. So we should be seeing so monthly see and month. So that the line is monthly see so that this line. So and then we all we all the data type. So. So we'll be we'll be adding data type. So the first one should be January. I will type three thousand. So second one is fit. So and then three one two four. That one and you copy and everything from the line eighteen to twenty two. Line eighteen to twenty two. So we are missing February. So I'm not typing. It's a little boy. So now this is our data type. This is this this is the array. And then, and then when we go back inside here. So you should be seeing similar to this one. So this is our array. So you will be asking. So we are in PHP, and then, and then we we should be. We will be adding data from database. How can we do that? So now we are in line twenty six. Twenty five. So and then make sure you. You are inside the PHP, document, and. And you give it so now now we are inside JavaScript but we stay inside the PHP. And you cannot load that one from external JavaScript and then I think you may load it by using PHP tech, but it that that's complicated. So we we'll, we we'll simplify by adding inside the PHP document, you know, straight directly PHP document. So so you see you give it name, you see it. Equal and uh, we create array and we create an empty array and then inside array we have an array because because this one is nested inside the array see so we this is an array starting from here to over there and then and this this is another array. So you are inside array inside array. So we are replicating that one. And you copy line twenty seven to thirty nine. If you if you didn't want to type, but you can pause. You can type this data. And um, you command this guy. We don't need it anymore. Bye bye. So you already knew for loop. So if you don't know, go to W three schools. We are at line forty three. One more line for each second one. So you give it. So the data. We don't want anything. Let's save. So this is for loop. And then, 
and then and then and then and then you echo that this is very important because we are replicating this one we started from we started from the square open bracket and then we close and then we need we need the uh, single code we can use double code but it's complicated and then for the complex string so like sync in here php doesn't care but we we can so you start with two double code meaning we need open bracket and then we need a single code so we are now string concatenate and then and then you type this here and then we are at the here the guy so that's the index zero so we are inside array inside array so and then you put a dot concatenate again put the two double code and then you add a single code we are at here so we got January already and then we, we need single code that's where single code is and then we need this comma so we need that guy we are at here so we are, we'll be adding that comma and then we make a space and then put the dot we, we went see and then we are at the first index second index and then we we, we put the dot we are in three three thousand so this guy and then we are in here three thousand and then we need a closing bracket and then another single code and that is double code sorry and then we need comma because we we keep going on until prime number January to 200 so so let's say let's see so and then in main we need how many how many space do we need two spaces and then we need one more space Confused, so this is line by line, closest one. So you may subtract one or one or two, and then you can easily see that. So, so what happened is what happened is we create that array. So this guy will come from database in the future, and then we loop through it, and then we replicate this one. And then, uh, I mean, including comma. It doesn't mean that so JavaScript doesn't mind extra comma, so we don't need to we don't need to track it down. We can leave it as a the last the last line as a you know. So so you make sure you save, and we go back here. You refresh. And so this is our new guy. So because we add, we already add the, we already add the new data at the end. So that this guy. So if you don't believe what I'm saying, so you copy from here to there, line twenty five to fifty forty nine. And in 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 if you if you don't if you want to know what we are doing, and then you paste in that the at the line seventy, then you save. Then if you refresh, go to our backend. You refresh, you'll be seeing that. So that's what we are replicating. Look at that. This is our data. So we we generating the data inside the JavaScript. I think 
think this is what we need for now. So, so in the so in the conclusion, so we we create a we create we create the we create the we edit data inside. We change the data type, and then we change the name of the particle and you know horizontal axis. So and then we edit data uh, inside in, with the JavaScript, and then later on we we we, we decided. This data should came from the database, so we need we need the server side deployment. So that's a, that's that's why we use inside the PHP, and then we constructed data as JavaScript for, format, and then we displayed it. So that is what what it is, and make sure you when you are when you are constructing data inside the database uh inside for the JavaScript, make sure you are inside the PHP. It's not a standard JavaScript. So that's just what it is. And then and then I hope it will useful and then and then we will remove this guy for now and then you save and then your data should be should be as default. So bye for now and then stay tuned for the next tutorial will be we we'll start. We'll be creating as we'll be creating TV in SQL, and then we'll be loading data.